It's the Red Alert 2 Cash Ladder Tournament Finals. Here we are at Game 1 with our finalists, Jerwar 177 and Carol 4800. We began with 16 players battling it out, and these two came out on top. This map, of course, is Country Swing, a typical 2 vs 2 map, but also good for 1 vs 1 where you have more opportunities for tank splits and you're less likely to have to camp in the middle. You can look at this map as two halves with three entrances, wide open spaces for epic tank battles. Jerwar, by the way, is at the top left and Carol at the bottom right. Keep in mind at this point in time that the whole map for both players is pitch black, which is why the dogs are running around. Having spawned at quite a distance from each other, there's no real danger of being rushed. So expect at least two, maybe even three miners come out of the war factories before the tanks. Usually right about now is when the drone comes out to drone the miners, but neither player has made one. I'm guessing it's because it's easily countered with a surface depot. Out comes Jerwar's second miner. And now third from the refinery. Three miners each, harvesting away. And now Carol's moving his MCV. I prefer to stretch with structures because you can't build anything while you're moving your MCV. As I was saying before, there's no real point in rushing because by the time your tanks get even close to your opponent's base, your opponent would have already made one more tank than you. So at this point in time, the only thing the players can and should do is harvest resources. Sure War now has six miners. We should be seeing a second war factory soon. One, two, three, four. Carol has seven miners. Six miners is enough for a second war factory. Seven, I think, is overkill. If we could see Carol's money right now, I think you'd have too much money just sitting there. You'd much prefer your money doing something for you. And out comes the first rhinos, ready for action. The second war factory is placed. The more war factories you have, of course, the faster your tanks come out, providing you have enough money. Carol still clearing the way for the structures. Hey, don't shoot the electricity posts. The people won't have any lights at night. Meanwhile, Jerwar sneaks a paint split. Which is just being spotted. You better send it back, Jerwar. That's four against three. Carol wisely does not follow regroups and continues to build his third war factory. I think that war patch is a little too saturated. He should start sending a couple of miners to the bottom. Yeah, the tanks are warming up with very little fodder. They should use more fodder. I like fodder. Fodder, of course, are dogs, infantry, or something that you mix in with your tanks to distract your opponent's tanks. Carol pushes forward. But I think Jerwar has slightly more tanks with the support of his garrison building. Carol realizes this and wisely backs away. Continues to build, or macros for those StarCraft 2 players, while constantly intimidating Jerwar. Now keep in mind this requires a lot of multitasking skills, so it's not easy. The two armies are slowly building up. I can feel a big tank battle coming. Like two huge forces just colliding. And one by one, more tanks join the front lines to fight for their teams. Carol sits there patiently waiting for the right time to make a move. Hides three tanks at the back. Is he going for a split? Because that's a pretty risky move. Four tanks. If the middle entrance wasn't so narrow, Jerwar could probably attack and absolutely demolish Carol right now. Jerwar now with four war factories. Those tanks have been pumping out like crazy. It would be nice to see a battle lab though for that almighty Kirov or Yuri flak bombs or something different. But I don't think we're going to see that today. Carol is going for a tank split. This is a perfect opportunity for Jerwar to attack his main tank group which for some reason he's not doing. Now two tank splits. Carol would have been so out-tanked had Jerwar attacked. 
even with that narrow entrance with so many tanks he could have pushed right through he does attack but I think a little too late and here we go get ready for the clash Durwar changes direction and goes for the war factory Carol with a delayed reaction now the two forces have met and the fireworks are on who's gonna come out alive in this all-in tank battle the tanks are firing away Durwar moves to the right Carol follows it is on back to the left and the Dezo is deployed both armies are heavily damaged and smoking that war factory is going down Carol won't be able to do anything about it except sell now Durwar retreats to live to fight another day war factory is back up Carol successfully defends its base and says uh uh not today dude get your green tank butts out of here this is my territory and while the tanks are regathering I'm gonna have a drink What a tank battle! We are definitely well into the game right now with more action to come. And more Dezos. I don't use Dezos against allies because in tank battles like we saw where both armies got desolated, had one of them been allies, the Soviet would have definitely won. But Soviet versus Soviet, I don't use them when my opponent is spamming a lot of fodder. Oh, and also to make invisible Dezos on the bridges. Nah, just kidding. Jerwar splits again with six tanks. And Carol matches it with like 20. Again, Carol's main tank group is now weak. He split too many tanks and left his main group vulnerable. While distracting with the split, Jerwar pulls out the V3s. And pushes Carol back a little. Jurwar finally attacking the main group, and I think it's round two for the tank battles. This is not good for Carol. His tanks are all split up. Forced to pull back, Jurwar's tanks are all together, making a second attempt for an invasion. Goes left. Carol's still pulling away. Say goodbye to those depots, Carol. I think Jurwar's trying to repair his tanks. Nope, he just forgot to click. Carol's tanks are all still split up and Jerwar with a huge advantage. Carol must quickly put his tanks back together. Jerwar takes out another war factory and pulls away. Don't pull away. Whichever way you click, that's the direction your turrets are going to be pointing. Again with the Dezos. He desolated himself more than the other guy. <laughs> Jerwar, another failed attempt. But I do understand that being under pressure can cause you to make a lot of mistakes. Good thing for Jerwar that his service depot is just there, which can give his tank some much needed repairs. Carol has just exhausted his ore, which is good because that means he's harvested well. And now with nothing left to harvest, sends all his miners into the battle. And we all know what that means, this is do or die for Carol. His miners right now are like mobile sentries with thick armor. He wisely puts them at the front of his tanks to cushion the blow while his tanks attack from the back. Jerwar also doing the same thing but a little late. Lucky for him that it's taking Carol a while to squeeze through that gap. Once again the armies collide with Jerwar at position of advantage. He can block off Carol's tanks right now and stop the tanks at the back from getting to the front. Which is what he's doing. Carol's back line are now useless. They can't fire at anything. Jerwar's tank's in good position. Carol's still trying to squeeze through. But keep in mind that Carol's mobile sentries got there first. So this could be a close one. Jerwar's still blocking the path. But I think he should push forward just a little. And maybe place more sentries down. This could be the end right here. The tanks, miners... V3s and sentries are going hard at it. It is Armageddon, folks. Both armies are giving it all they got. And look at the brave little conscript in the middle of the battlefield. He says, now we have 1,000 plus one bullets firing. So I want to put in my share. And I think Carol's backing off. He is. 
All he can do now is sell some of his structures, because he definitely does not have much money left. And by the looks of it, it's the same situation for Jerwar. I'm surprised this lasts this long. Three tank battles and still going. This shows that both players' skills are quite evenly matched. Carol still has not sold his structures. The advantage of this is, if it becomes a base trade, it'll take Jerwar a while to destroy all of them. And the game does not end until the last structure of one of the armies have been blown to bits. Carol now also using desolators. And Vanessa says, I think it's lagging because of my porn downloads. Red Alert 2 and porn, my two favorite things in life. But let's try to keep this PG and get back to the game, shall we, Vanessa? Vanessa is the observer of this game, controlling the camera movements, who is actually a guy from what I've been told. The name Vanessa is probably his favorite singer or something, I'm not too sure. Carol's ready for round four, I think. These two have been going back and forth the whole game, which is what makes the game fun to watch. And it's on again! Jerwar forced to sell some structures, and now Carol's being the aggressor. We are nearing the end, folks. Looks like it's going to be the final tank battle. Who's going to win? Who's going to come out on top for the first game, Jerwar or Carol? Carol with two desolators, dogs, and a lot of tanks. Jerwar with conscripts, dogs, and a lot of tanks. The Dezos move forward, and again, Carol's tanks are too spread out. Hold on to your seats, cause this is it! The two armies have collided, the tanks are exploding, it is a mess! It is World War III at the top of country swing! There is no turning back now, both players are absolutely committed to this battle. And what an awesome sight, it's like New Year's Eve at the stroke of midnight. And the conscripts yelling, uh, uh, as they fall. Well done, men, you'll be surely remembered for your services. Both armies going back a little. Carol going forward again. I'm gonna win this, he says. And Jerwar is not afraid, also pushes forward. And I think it's gonna be GG pretty soon. With all the fire and smoke, it's hard to tell who's winning. It is such a close match. Who's gonna win, folks? Who's it gonna be? It is... Jerwar to take game one. Carol GG's, what a match, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Crazy Jason now, see you guys in game two!